Kai 1950 BSA D1 plunger. Um, building out of parts, it's a dry build, it's dry assembly prior to paint, just to check I've got all the bits and I know what I'm doing. Um, basically I became frustrated with the uh, loom running along the rear mudguard, down the rear mudguard stay and up to the light that you can see on the mudguard holder. So decided to have a look to see if I thought there was a better way of doing it. Thanks to Howard from Bournemouth Bantams for pointing out that originally on the left hand side on the inside of the mudguard just before the valance there were originally clips to hold the loom in place but um, mine are long gone. Needless to say uh, I don't have the skills or the time um, or the inclination to put those clips back on but however I uh, started to look at where the loom enters the mudguard and realised that actually this solid tube that runs through was the first uh, potential for looking after the loom underneath the mudguard and then here again under the uh, fixing nuts and bolts for the rack and I used a series of p-clips uh, drilled out to 6.5mm I'm using M6 nylocks under here thanks Simon, uh, Simon drilled those out for me and um, uh, so the loom follows underneath the mudguard on the D1 and pops out here um, where there will be eventually rubber grommets and the last holder with the p-clip is uh, one of the uh, mudguard uh, nuts and bolts. So I hope this has uh, given some people some idea. It's a bit of a nose having to drop the rear wheel, rear brake rod, the rear brake arm uh, and dropping the wheel off, split link on the chain. It takes 10 minutes to do that, jack the bike up and then you can get access to the mudguard. I had originally thought about removing the mudguard but actually the fastest way that proved to me to be the fastest way was to actually just remove the rear wheel. Um, hope it's given somebody else um, some ideas on how to keep the uh, wiring tidy on these bikes. Thanks for watching.